Hello everyone, it's your favorite Senso Tech Jedi Lisa here, and in this video we are going to be looking at how you can modify your JSON or configuration file in your Google Admin Console to change the way that you view Chrome devices through the Senso portal. Now let's go ahead, let's go over and start actually within the Google Admin Console. Changing that configuration file, changing what's also called a JSON file, will change how you can view uh, your Chromebook devices in your Senso portal. So let's talk about uh, the options that you have down here for changing. You have prompt for desktop. This is going to ask them or prompt them to share their desktop. The prompt count means how many times we're going to prompt them to share their desktop. Negative one is infinite, meaning it's going to continually ask them. Any positive number they put in there, that's how many times it will prompt them before it will stop prompting them. Lock while prompting will lock the device and force them to accept the share. Prompt remote only will show active tab only in thumbnail view, but when you click on a device and go into the individual view or tab view, it will then prompt them to share their desktop. So let's look at how I have it set up right now. This is what we call active tab only, meaning that they did not have to accept any share. We went into thumbnail view and I'm going to be able to see what active tab they're in. Now as a student, I'm going to click on and change my tab. Now when I change my tab, you'll see that it changed here and now I'm seeing the new active tab they're in. If I go back to the tab that I was on before, again it's going to change and it's going to show me the active tab that they're in, active tab only. Now if they close the browser, it will say no active tab in this view. There is not a Chrome browser open with an active tab for us to check out. If I open it back up, I go back into a website, again, active tab. I know I'm going to say it a thousand times. <laughs> You're going to get tired of hearing active tab. It will then take us back and show us um, the active tab that they're in. Okay, so let's change that. Let's talk about if we prompt for desktop. Let's change that to true. Now we're going to prompt them to share their desktop with us. So what that looks like for them is this image right here. This is what it's going to look like for your students. They are going to see in front of their Chrome browser, share your screen. They need to click on that picture and then they need to click on share. That will then share their entire desktop with anyone that's viewing them in the Senso portal. In the Senso portal, it will look like this. You see right here, Marley Smith has accepted the share. Now we're able to see all the tabs that Marley has open and also the system tray down here. Now remember before when they closed the browser and it said no active tab, if they closed the browser here, you would still be able to see the desktop. I have showcased this here against one that is just showing an active tab so you can see the difference. Zach attack is just active tab only. We can't see the tabs or anything at the bottom. Marley Smith has accepted the share and now we can see everything on that desktop. Okay, now let's go back and let's make another modification. Now we are going to want to force them to share. This is going to lock them into sharing everything with us. So prompt for desktop is true, prompt count is negative one, lock while prompting is set to true. So that will look like this in your portal if you go here, it will say, please share your screen. And then for a student, this is what they will see. They will see, please share your screen and then the prompt. This will lock it though. Um, it, they will have to click the, the picture and click share before it will be uh, unlocked. Essentially, they can go back to work in the Chrome browser. Now, if they click in any of the areas, any of this space around it, it will reset the timer, uh, which is a few seconds, and they'll have to wait for that box to come back before they can then click the picture and share their screen so that you can see it in the portal. Now, the last way is going to be prompt in remote only. So you would want to change lock while prompting to either true or false. In this example, I'm actually going to change it to false and prompt remote only is going to be set to true. 
Now what's going to happen here is list view, if I click into thumbnail view, I'm only going to see active tab. But if I go into an individual or tabbed view, it's then going to prompt the student to share their screen. I'm going to accept the share at, like I'm a student. And now you can see in this view, I'm going to be able to see just like uh, everything prompt for desktop, everything that they're doing. If I minimize it, it's not going to say active tab because again, I have accepted the share. Now, because I've accepted the share on this individual device in thumbnail view, you'll see that Marley Smith, I can see everything because they've accepted the share. These other devices I have not clicked in, they're going to remain in active tab only. Now, if you want to have them go back into active active tab only after they have accepted the share, then they can actually stop the share on their device. You see here that they can click stop, which will then take them back into active tab only. Or if they log out and log back in, it will revert them back to this active tab only in thumbnail view. And they have to, you have to click on it to go into a bigger screen view for them to accept the share. And that's what prompt remote only means here. Okay guys, I hope that this has cleared things up for you on how to change that configuration file and the different mechanisms that you can use to view those Chrome devices remotely. Please uh, check out our website, senso.cloud, and if you have any more questions, please reach out to us at support.senso.cloud. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!